Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Steve. Today I would like to share with you what Jesus said when your heart is troubled. Let's go to God's Word. John 14 verse 1, while Jesus was talking to his disciples, he said, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now Jesus wasn't saying it was wrong to be troubled, he just doesn't want us to stay troubled. Why, even Jesus knew what it was to be troubled. In John 11:33, he was troubled at Lazarus' death. He was troubled that Judas was going to betray him in John 13, 21. And in John 12, 27, we see Jesus in the garden praying about how troubled he was, knowing what he was about to go through at the cross for us. So clearly Jesus did know what it was like to be troubled. Now this bag, it represents our heart. What are some of the things that trouble us? Well, you might have troubles about grades at school. You might be troubled about something in your family. Maybe about words people used about you that hurt you. There may be other things too. But here's what Jesus doesn't want you to do. He doesn't want you to hold on to these things and let them worry you. No, what he wants you to do is to give them to him so you can live in more joy and happiness. In Isaiah 53, 4, it says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. What Jesus wants us to do when we're troubled is to slow down. Think about what he's done for us on the cross, being raised, going to prepare a place for us, coming back one day, and by accepting him in our heart, we will live forever in his family with him, and that will be glorious. When you give him your troubles, you lift off that burden and allow yourself to be more joyful. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us and that you take our troubles so that we can live with more joy and in more happiness. We love you and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Is there something that's troubling you? Take time right now to talk about it as a family. Then pray together and give those troubles to Jesus. He wants to take them from you.